I'm grateful to the Salaam Institute for giving me this chance to say a few words about Salaam and about the Institute without my actually having to get on an airplane. I knew about Salaam well before I ever met him because as a graduate student I had spent a good deal of my time reading his important papers on renormalization theory, which he extended the theory to all orders of perturbation theory. And then as a postdoc, I, I went on with that and tr developed a more or less rigorous theorem that what Salam had, did, had done would really lead to all the infinities canceling to all orders of perturbation theory. Uh, Salam evidently uh, learned about this work. Uh, one day uh, in 1960, when I was a postdoc at the Radiation Laboratory in Berkeley, I was sitting in my tiny office and there was a knock on the door. When I opened it, there was Salam. And uh, we talked for a while about renormalization theory and about this and that. I don't recall all of it, but we, it was quite a friendly meeting. So it was natural a, f a year or two later when my wife and I decided we'd like to spend a year abroad uh, for me to write to Salam and ask for his hospitality at Imperial College where he was the head of the uh, theoretical physics group. And uh, he was gracious enough to grant it. And I, we spent a good year in London and in particular I uh, contributed to the only paper I've ever written in collaboration with Salam, also with Jeffrey Goldstone. Uh, we seemed to be showing that uh, there was no hope for a wonderful idea of broken symmetry in particle physics. Fortunately, two years later, uh, three different groups showed that there was an exception to that, the so-called Higgs mechanism, which was later incorporated by Salam and myself into the unified theory of weak and electromagnetic forces. I didn't know it, but at that time Salam was already thinking very seriously about uh, extending science to the developing world and founding an institute for that purpose uh, in Trieste, which was founded in 1964. The institute uh, prospered under Salam and then after his death uh, under a number of very uh, excellent uh, leaders and uh, I'm proud to say uh, has done very well under the latest director, um, Fernando Cavedo. I say I'm proud because he was my PhD student at Texas in the 1980s. Uh, so Salam's legacy continues both through his written papers and through this wonderful institute which does so much um, uh, to develop science uh, in the developing world but for science in general. And, um, but nevertheless, Salam is greatly missed um, by many people, not least myself.